Right then folks, I come through here. I come round the corner from tiptoeing around from herds in both of those areas. There's a big herd up there come from here because they've got lick, lick uh, stones out, which I think they get salt and stuff off and minerals. But there's a big herd right up there. Now that this is their area, they can come in here. They've been in here. Now it just depends if there's a split herd and there's another herd in here, then I've really got to backtrack quick. Now I do know there's a gate over there to get into that era, the other area that I sometimes go in. Um, over here, the herd won't get here that quick, it, they're right up there. If there's no more cows up here, in theory I should be okay now just for a leisurely walk. But somewhere in there, around the corner there, there's a gate for me to get into the other area if necessary. But here's another rain pan. It's not accessible to the animals for some strange reason. But while I won't really know if I'm safe until I get up on that ridge, my theory is these cows migrate. Um, usually as a pack, a herd, and they've all gone for lush vegetation down there. I'll just zoom in to show you there's a couple on the top of the hill. But I got, I got pictures of them and they were all gathered further up. See, there's one. He's right up there. Go along a bit. And there's another one there, another big cow. But they have got access to this field, okay? They can get in here and they've probably been in here this morning. I'm sorry if I'm taking you on a cow walk. But um, basically what it is, most of my walks throughout the summer don't involve cows. But it's a changeover period from cow season to non-cow season. I mean, I've had to climb over a barbed wire fence there before now, when I met a herd. Um, <clears throat> so, but we won't know. And there's a gate up here. What I'm doing, I'm tending to keep near the fence at the moment, in case I have to make an emergency escape. Like I say, it's a change of the seasons. <sighs> Lovely, isn't it? Lovely view, though. Where you get... With all this lush grass, I can't see the farmer putting them inside for ages. Because of all the water, they're rotating them so that they can stay out longer. Oh look, little pheasants. Little brown ones, little female pheasants. Yeah. Yeah, if you do need to get away from cows, I have described it before, if you've got a coat or a jumper or an, and your bag, you can use all of them. Take them off, lay them across the top of the barbed wire and then leave yourself up and get over as fast as you can. Because there are some square hold fences where you can put your foot in, but cover the barbed wire, otherwise you'll get caught and they can get you that way. Because <clears throat> you can't move. Cow pack. So we don't know if there's another herd. Right, some herds do split. So what I'm doing at the moment, I don't want to get into a field knowing there's cows. Um, now the route I often take is down in the valley there. And uh, I go and I go down through that way, but I don't go near. I know there's there's a field up there always got cows in it. But look at that fresh pack. Look at that fresh pack. That's very fresh. Makes you think: Are they further up? Are they in the trees? Is the gate open from the other herd? So be prepared. 
prepared to lob over, right? Coat off, put it over. Put on there, put your foot on there and get over as fast as you can. You know. I've had to do it. That's very, very fresh. It makes me think, because it is so fresh compared to some of the others, that they're still around. And I've got to go all the way up there, so I'm hoping they're not about. Like I said, I can't wait to be able to do the other walk, eventually. I mean, what they do, they'll graze up there for a while. They got those lick stones that the farmers put out for them. See, there's one there. He's pointing this way now. There's another one. And there'll be more. There's loads of them, actually. <laughs> but right at the top, there's a whole herd. Some are sat down still. They will migrate back down here. Hopefully, I'm way ahead of them. Way ahead of them. Now, once again, this is all... Mining country. Pothole country. Big pothole down there. It's either a pothole or could have been part of a lime kiln once. So I'm looking around because these cows they can go right down the sides there with the bracken is they you know they can go everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Right over and out. Right, back to cows again. Now the cows do usually, I mean, this is mild weather, you know, they're not going to take the cows in now. Look, they do come down here. Great big pack. Um, they usually take the cows in, usually. Um, I usually find towards the end of November cows are taken in, but there are some cows that never get taken in. And I think because the mild weather, really, with the rain, it's left all this lovely green grass. Um, and they've got loads of different fields that can rotate them. But they're definitely moving. If I look back now, they've moved, some of them have mo are moving quite quickly. They eat as they go. I see that one there moving along. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. The whole herd will be coming. Yeah, I can see more and more of them coming. <clears throat> we timed it right again. Timed it right again. Because when they what they do, they get down to the watering hole, and they got the lick slabs with minerals or whatever cows. You have to look it up on the internet. They're a great big. They look like ice, and they're all slippery and. Um, a pinky colour. Pink and cream. So this is a walk I do, which I really, I do enjoy it. It is what I call a bit risky. Um, I mean, for example, now, I'd have to be very careful that there wasn't a herd hiding the other side of that hill. Because those cows back there are moving this way. And I could end up ambushed. Can't go in there because there's herd in there. I can smell for bonfire. And that gate's shut, so they're not coming in here. I timed it right in many ways, didn't I? If I'd left it later, if I was coming through now at four o'clock, those cows would have been further down. I wouldn't have been able to come this way. I would have been forced to do the West Mendip Way, which I do want to do, by the way. There's a little hamlet I want to walk through I haven't done for a couple of years. Yeah, look. 
Makes you wonder if they are about, doesn't it? They're just over there. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? They'll be back. Let me just zoom into the top of the field, the top of the lane a minute. Yeah. Still not the top, that's just the fence into there. I mean, if necessary, I'd go in there and try and hug that bit. Those cows are over that way. Um, I've just got a feeling that they aren't down there. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Because some of this pack is very fresh. They must have moved. That's how quick they move. They move from up, from here, right down there very quickly. <clears throat> Unless that, the herd that came out of here was the ones I saw on, on Draycott Slights being herded along. Right folks, see that? That's Black Rock and that's where the quarry is. Some of you might be starting to see the features now. Uh, for example, that's, that's the area of outstanding natural beauty on the top there, on, right on the horizon there. And that's quite interesting, that gap between the... It's like a window, isn't it, through the trees there. Right, I'm going to turn off and take some photos, folks. Keeping an eye back there. They're on the move. They're definitely on the move. Right, folks, I've just come through over a stile there, and there's a gate as well. Came across the big track. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of cow pack. Fresh cow pack. That was that big herd. They move quick. It just shows how quick they move. In a couple of hours, they've moved from up here over to the hill, and now they're turning to come back. I'm carrying on up the track. I was up, came along this track when I'd done one of my velvet bottom walks. I came up here, followed a trail round. It was a lot greener, don't forget. It was the summer, even though it isn't that long ago. Uh, hold on. Hello. Hiya, hello Ta. Oh, look at you. You're going for a bit of a run. Oh, good oh, go off you go. Yeah, this is the track. Now, I normally go over... I will go over to the stile, but I'm not actually going that way. Um, it is risky for me going down the gorge. But these shoes that I've had this year, I have sort of slipped with them on. But... Uh, They've mainly protected me. Anyway, I got along that track. I managed to make it. I managed to do it. Pure luck. It was just, I had no idea where the cows were going to be. But uh, they don't come in this bit at the moment. But they definitely had access to where I've just walked through. It was pure chance how I timed it. I didn't time it because I thought they'd be that end or whatever end. I still had to walk through an area where there are cows lying down, but far enough off to give me time to get out of danger if we had to. The biggest danger was walking where I could see a big herd, not knowing if they were fenced off from me. They were, but I still had no idea if there could be another herd tucked in. There's, there we are, look, there's Robert Warren. I was over there a fortnight ago, visiting the fort and roaming about in the wood. Everything links up, see, my network of walks all around. And earlier today, see that big hill over there? There's a big hill in the distance. That's Draycott Slights, I was over there. I'm having a lovely, lovely, leisurely walk. And I thought, because I've gone through what my favourite style twice already in the past couple of months, I'll go down through the gorge today. I'll go down through the gorge. And then, uh, 
as winter comes, I won't do the gorge. I might walk up it, but I won't be walking down it. I find walking down anything. But I do want to go down Jacob's Ladder once this year. Now, it is a lot quieter at the moment. No, no school holidays. Kids are at school, people are at work. Um, when I got on the bus this morning, though, it's filled with retired people. Oh, it's a good job I'm not coming this way. Guess what, folks? Guess what? <laughs> Look! Good job I'm not decided to go this way today. I never knew you were going to greet me. The thing is with these, they tend to be extremely friendly. Now, if I did have to go for this one stair in there, I'd probably head straight round there and curve round them. I wouldn't walk straight through them. they got big horns. But I've never noticed them to be a threat. They're, they're not like that other big herd. They tend to be a bit mooey and chasey. But, uh, wow, what a lovely surprise. We've been talking about cows all afternoon, and here's a lovely herd that I often bypass, and you never take any notice of me, usually. There's just one out of the whole herd. That one there, that's been a little bit suspicious of me. Just that one. All the rest are okay. But there is a calf. There is a calf there. Wow, hello everyone. Looks like one might be giving birth there. Let's have a look. It's lying on its side. That one there. I wonder if it's giving birth. It's got a huge hump there. I wonder if they just do it here. That would be an amazing thing to video, wouldn't it? If, the, if I knew it was going to give birth. But there's just one still staring at me. That one there. That one has not stopped to eat or anything. Just staring. Over and out, folks.